Point of order, Yvette Cooper. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Further to the point of order made by my honourable friend for Coydon Central on Friday and also by the honourable member for North East Fife on Thursday, Madam Deputy Speaker, have you or Mr Speaker had any notification from the Prime Minister of his intention to correct the record over his claim at Prime Minister's questions last week that, as he said, we have been cutting crime by 14 per cent? As you will be aware, the head of the UK Statistics Authority has said that the statements about the crime statistics by the Home Office, subsequently followed by the Prime Minister, were misleading. And the ONS figures, released just the previous week, found a 14% increase in total crime, driven by a 47% increase in fraud and computer misuse. Mm. Clearly, the Prime Minister needs to correct the record and be clear that crime has gone up and not down over the last two years on his watch. Yep. Erskine May, resolutions of the House and the Ministerial Code all say it is of paramount importance that Ministers give accurate and truthful information to yep. Parliament and correct any inadvertent error at the earliest opportunity. Yeah, yeah. The Prime Minister made these comments on Wednesday. The Statistics Authority wrote to the Home Office and Number 10 on Thursday. We have had two previous points of order. It is now Monday. This is clearly not the earliest opportunity. I am yeah. seeking your yeah. guidance, Madam Deputy Speaker. What is the point in us having a ministerial code and rules of Parliament on correcting the parliamentary record if the Prime Minister continues to ignore them and does not respond to Parliament? How do we ensure that these basic rules and standards for Parliament are not just ripped up? Yeah. Well, I am grateful to the Right Honourable Lady for giving notice of her point of order. As she said, this was raised previously by the member for North East uh, Fife. Um, I have to repeat what was said in response to that point of order, um, which was that although the Chair, as she knows, is not responsible for the content of contributions made by Ministers, I am sure the concern will have been heard again on the Treasury bench. And if an error has been made in this instance, um, I'm sure a minister would want to correct it as quickly as possible. Um, she refers to the ministerial code. It is paragraph 8.15 of the ministerial code, which, you, uh, which deals with the issue of statistics. Um, I'm sure that the, Honourable, the Right Honourable Lady will find other ways of pursuing the issue should she wish to, but as I say, I am sure the Treasury bench will have heard her concerns.